What's up, everybody? Welcome back for part two of our co-op campaign with Mr. Squiz on Three Kingdoms Total War. Squiz, would you like to introduce yourself, mate? Yo, what's happening, guys? It's Squiz, and we're just going to jump straight into this part two. Let's go for it. Straight in. It's my turn. Yay, sweet. Okay. Starting uh, off with you, buddy. I'm trying to remember what we did. Um, oh yeah, we was fight I was coming down south, that's what we were doing, because I wanted to try and connect with your lands, that's what I wanted to do. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do that very quickly. I'll move a little B. You'll probably get an event at one point to go to war with you and Shu as well. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh, why not? We'll upgrade that. I've upgraded a settlement. Bro, her Yi actually has a lot of territory. Like the yellow turban fella, he's got like four different territories just that I can see. Yeah, so I can only see like the big factions. I can only see Kong Rong and Yuan Shu at the moment, <laughs> and I can actually see Yuan Shao on the map, but it's quite it is quite north, and I can only see one of his lands. So off to the north. Yeah. In a distant, far away place. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at my diplomacies real quick. Have I got any more trade agreements? Because I remember, oh yeah, I've got four already. I need more trade. All the trade. I'm getting 1,000 per turn, so that's not too bad. Yeah, so I want to I wanna try and uh, link up with you so I can actually see your land. But for now, I think... I think we're done, so I'm going to end my turn. How much trouble you reckon I get in for going to war with the Han Empire right now? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know, because their I mean, army's all, all, all over the map. It's hit and miss <laughs> with the Han. It's hit and yeah, miss. Yeah, they're really really strong in some spots or incredibly weak in others yeah like i'm losing food so i kind of have have a dire situation i have to take something i've got a fishing village nearby i'm already at war with that guy so i may as well take him uh i won't be able to fight that this turn but i see i've got enemies literally on all sides every direction yeah so i think even if i lose um the copper mine and take <clears throat> Shindu, then I'll be good. All right, going back to you, my friend. Okay. Oh, is this army coming out to me? Oh. Oh. Predicting a valiant defeat. You know, I don't know if I agree with that. Like, my army's weakened, but it's not necessarily, like, actually weak. Are we having our first battle of the day? First battle of the day. Let's Sweet. Do this. Um, I'm, I'm gonna spectate. Can you can give me your archers or something? Yeah, right. archers or even cav again. You did pretty good commanding the cavalry in the last battle. Yeah, did. And we've actually got a lot more forest on our side this time, like in the starting area. All right. So, if you guys haven't seen how this works before, I'm gonna slap these four cav units and we're gonna gift them over. Yeah. Master Squiz. Master? Master. Been playing too much Harry Potter, mate. Little bit, little bit. <laughs> Just so they can actually see where I am. Because if they can see me, they won't uh, branch off into some stupid direction. Yeah, they're definitely not seeing my troops anyway, put it that way. Hell nah. You're completely hidden. Alright, what's seen. he got? He's got that guy over there who doesn't want to duel. He doesn't want to duel either of my guys. You know what? I think I'm just going to charge his cab with mine. He's just running cab forward, so I'm just going to run my heroes. I've never seen AI do that off. before. They always usually go on the flanks. They try and get a flank. This <laughs> this was not a not a flanking type maneuver. Hopefully, they don't see my cab troops. Although he's committed his hero. I'm going to try and. Go into the flank. Him in here, flames the phoenix. Attack his archers. I think they might have seen the cav though, because they look like they are going oh. into the forests. We got so many of his horses with that flames of the phoenix hit. Yeah, they're, they're going into One the forest. Nice, broken. nice. Right, I'm going to pull my heroes back. His infantry's all blobbed up. Turn and hit the commander again. It looks like. Have they seen the cav? I don't think they've seen the cav. Right, okay. They don't know where you are, and if they do, they've only got their strategists to deal with it. Are you compensating for your lack of ability? Oh, for smack talk. Oh, they did general. see. They did see. 
have peeled off a small regiment yeah. of Sabre Militia, but that's somewhat evened out the... Um, the so I've got their archers on the run. Very nice. When you've got an opportunity, flank right here. Yeah, I'll turn one in now, then I'll back off. Their commander's very occupied. Still doesn't want to duel me. I don't see him accepting it. That's for sure. All right, that's those axemen screwed. They're going to break. And once they do, I can flank his next unit with the with my swords. Should yeah, break on the left hand side as well. Crumble. Nice. As well as yeah, Move left forward. hand side's going to crumble as well. The enemy warriors are his cabs uh, on the left freed up. They're coming after you. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll get one. I'll get one of my cav units to drop back. His, his infantry is broken. They're, they're done. Yep. Sweet. The enemy general is yeah, they're all fleeing now. Oh. He's just bazook. Oh, she's gone berserk. <laughs> That's oh, the reason well, why they've not. <laughs> That's why she's lost it because I killed her um, yeah. partner over there. <laughs> That's why she's not uh, fled yet because she's gone berserk. Coming in to bring in some reinforcements. Right, I'm overextending my killed? infantry a bit. Not but... enough, I think. I'm gonna pull Focus them back. Your efforts on the enemy, perhaps. All right. It's just her Zoom left, in. isn't it? Everything's. Yeah, she's, all that, she, she's all that's left. Yeah. Everything else is breaking slowly, if not broken. Oh, look at these bamboo trees as well. It is pretty cool, the little battle area. And the she's screwed. She's just oh, she's, she's, she's fell down. No <laughs> Easy claps. They probably shouldn't have come out of their town. They would have done much better inside the village. Oh, yeah. 100%. All right. Claim that victory. Nice. Thank you, Commander. Uh, someone wants to make peace with me. Is it the guy north? Zeng Xian. Zeng Xian? Where the fuck? <laughs> where is this guy? <laughs> yeah, it is, is the guy north. North of me. Uh, he wants to give me 2k. I'm going to accept it. 2k for peace, uh, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I've accepted it because I'm, I'm with my army south anyway, so. And you didn't even know you were at war with him, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was at war with him. I think the I think the leadership change. I don't think it was. Uh, I think it was like. Anyways, Guaranteed now we can definitely go down south, and I'm gonna attack this uh, Zirong and try and get closer to you. My, my my turns are gonna be very quick turns by the looks of things. Until until I get close, until I move my troops down south. So yeah, I'm gonna end turn and send it back to you. Okay. Going to move my reinforcement units across the river. And just to stop this person from getting regen. Oh, it's a close victory. I'm actually gonna starve them out for a turn. Right, okay. Uh, until the turn timer reaches zero. It doesn't actually say how many turns. Oh no. Turns until supplies deplete zero. So they'll either attack me on the next turn or they'll just lose troops and it'll be easy as. So I don't have a full army over here and I really want one. Have you uh, got two armies or uh, just one army? I've got basically one army split up. Oh, right. Okay. Into two groups. Um, Han Dung, he's upset, so I'm just going to evict him from my court because I don't need that sort of negativity in my life. Release from service. There we go. Look, now I'm not paying for you and you're not unhappy. Winning. Uh, what's happening uh, now? being delegated. I'm giving up. Uh, oh, oh young. All right, okay. Now. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. This is the one I wanted to sacrifice for the fishing village. Ah. Uh. Because I need food more than I need uh, copper. And the second his army leaves, I'm just going to turn around and take it again. The Lu Bei's got a child. Lu Ping Shu. Oh. Lu Ping Shu. Lu Ping Shu. The Emperor finds a protector. Oh, no. <laughs> Cao Cao has the Emperor. <laughs> oh, gosh. That, that never, that's never a good sign. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen that. It's usually Dong Zhuo, but Dong Zhuo is dead, right? Yeah, he's yeah, died. Yeah. Died. Yeah, because of the timeline we're playing in. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cao Cao actually becomes 
uh, historically, he's the guy that claims the emperor and then forces the emperor to abdicate so that he can become the emperor. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Just heading down south, and I'm gonna send it back to you again. That's all I'm gonna do. All right. Pulling my reinforcements in to join Sun Tzu's army. His great friend has joined, and now this is an overwhelming victory. <laughs> I'm gonna vote to delegate, and you, you'll see why. Oh, okay. Easier. Okay. I I finally got the other half of my army in. Yeah. Remember how I had that um, village that I took at the start of the campaign? Yeah. When I was UN Shu's vassal? Yeah. It's it's still sitting there. He still hasn't taken it. This was the force that was defending it. <laughs> Fishing village ob obtained. Let's go. Positive food, which means my men can actually replenish. And, yeah. Very nice. All right. Back to you, my guy. Okay. The one dude I wasn't at war with has declared war on me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I think, I think Wu Jing is his vassal of Yuan Shu, so that's... Yeah. And I will try to avoid Yuan Shu as much as possible. Yeah. Just for now. In the early game, that's, that's a good idea. Until we build up a bit. Um, you're moving down into Zhirong's territory, right? There's yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be there in like maybe two or three turns. Still. No problem. When you get there, you should see uh, Dan Young. And that's where I'm going to expand out to to meet up with you. Form a coalition. Oh, Kong Rong definitely wants a form a coalition with me. I'll do it in, when, when we form one together and then try and invite him afterwards. Yeah, because sometimes the AI can be like, no, 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 don't invite that Yeah, guy. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I'm waiting for us two to form one. Yep, and then we'll try and find a third. <laughs> I think third, Kong Rong's probably going to be the best third. Yeah, he's agree. got all my north covered, so and he likes me. Yeah. yeah, he's a massive fan of me as well, so he's a huge thorn in Yuan Shao's side, so that works. <laughs> Keep moving. We're gonna head up to Dan Young and take that off this absolute fool that just declared war on me. He's got four units. His army consists of four units and he declared war on me. Man's just doesn't want to live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm on the border with Ji Rong now, so it should be next turn when I declare war on him. Or the turn Very afterwards. Nice. Yeah, uh, oh, we've got reform. We've got reform. Can I do another trade agreement? <laughs> oh, 25% tra trade influence. I'll take that, bad boy. I'm, I've got four trade agreements as well. That's just up my money per turn now. Yeah, I'd say hold your money for now, just so that, you know, if someone does declare war on you in the north while you're yeah. fighting in the south, you can quickly create an army. And Shu Gong, the great fool that declared war on Cao Cao, is about to get wiped. Holy damn, man. He's at war with the Han Empire, Cao Cao, me, Yuan Shu. What are you doing? He's declaring war on everyone. He doesn't like no one. <laughs> He's got one territory. He said he, he declared war on Cao Cao. It wasn't the other way around as well, so... That's... that's insane. Like... <laughs> Why, sir? Come on. We're going to have another battle, I think. It's going to be a rough one. It says Valiant Defeat, but I disagree. Because if I click Night Battle, it thinks it's a close victory. I'm not 100% sure what changes between that. <laughs> they have less morale. Oh, okay. And their spotting ability is diminished. Alright, I'm good with that. They can't see stuff and... Uh, I'll spec it again, then you can give me some of your stuff, I guess. Great, quicker. Yeah. All right, let's go. Fire arrows set. Pull Joe use forces up. Archers to the front. Loose formation. Turn skirmish mode off, because damn do I hate that ability. My archers always run away way before they have to. Our infantry in the rear to support. Bring this boy forwards. Our men are spotted. Our men are spotted. Ah, uh, they are, are they? The AI is smart enough because they know full well that they do not want to duel soon, sir. Yep. <laughs> you don't he duel him. An option to duel <laughs> since the battle that you were taking over the guy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's too strong. Which is probably why the game literally has a mechanic that makes him die. 
eventually I'll be stuck with bloody Soon Quan or Soon Chuan. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. But isn't uh, Sun Jen his father? Is it? Yeah, Sun Jen yeah. is the father, and then you have Soon Quan, is the like the youngest brother. Yeah, that's it. He ends up um, taking over because Sun Se runs out of luck in this game you and dies. Yeah. Me. Talk all you want. Right, I'm you going to send going my to axe unit right in the front there, just to do a lot of damage. One tower's burning, swap targets to the other. If he doesn't do anything about me, I'm just going to swing these archers around and hit the other towers to soften them up for your uh, cav while my infantry are pushing. Right. Hold your fire. Do not fire at will. Let my other archers soften up their infantry while the axes go in. Soon, sir. You will also go in now. Swords in support. He's, he's, he's got a unit already breaking, dude. <laughs> Both armies are red as well. I've just and noticed. Bam. Playing to the Phoenix for the big damage. Oh, these axes are just... They were running quite cool. Then these guys are fleeing already? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fire damage is OP, man. Alright, sending in Zhou Yu to help out against Xu Gong, the fool that declared war when he wasn't ready. Alright, they're not, they're not moving their other lines. <laughs> they will once I get far enough in. They're starting to pull some units back. They're realizing a small issue. Alright, you pull your force across. Move these archers over and fire on their towers. Right, go, go, go. Get inside. Both sets of troops are red. I can't really tell who's who. And when I'm looking at them in, like, the cinematic mode. I can't even speak cinematic mode. Cinematic mode? How do I even activate that? Okay, okay. Okay. It gets rid of the hood. Oh, nice. Your boy's uh, going in. You need, you need to kind of look at the your axes, mate. <laughs> they're getting overwhelmed. Yeah, I've got infantry, but they're getting caught up on the uh, on the general back here. Get up there. This is supposed to be a, a very respectful duel between Zhou Yu, Sun Tzu, and Zhu Kong. <laughs> very respectful. <laughs> now he's charging at the back of my guys. Uh, uh, your archers, archers down here, are they going to attack? This. Nice. Right, if you move these guys rest, up. I do understand. Oh, yeah, the shut archers up. on the left flank are getting hit hard. But if they can burn out at least two sets of towers, I'm happy. Because these towers do a lot of damage. The enemy warriors are running. And my swordsmen just... They, they do not last long. I've got that commander in there. Go, go, go. Get our archers firing. You turn and hit this next. Take out all the towers. That should really screw their morale. Yeah. Oh, the enemy units are breaking. Huge. Nice, no, huge. I've got men on this. Like, Did it even need to use my... Oh, wait, I might need to use my cav, actually. Actually. I was gonna say, your cab could be perfect here for, um, like, completely breaking these guys in the center. Yeah. Because they're, like, they're wavering and they're breaking, but they could come back. They've still got pretty healthy numbers. Oh, the enemy commander's breaking. That's good. Keep him out. And they do have GN infantry captain up there as well. I'm gonna have to make sure he gets flanked. Otherwise, there'll be no... No solid win on that guy. Go, go, go. Turn fire at will back on. Bring in our second lot of infantry. He can chase them off the field. Huge. Yeah, that did it. 
Right, archers, I want you to fire on this. You move into this. Uh, infantry needs to come up and then hit them. There is uh, G Militia coming in behind you. Try and pull right through up to the top of this hill. And then come down and behind the, the uh, are running. Uh, infantry captain. Oh, he's already broken. <laughs> nice. Jesus, the morale damage, dude. They still have two um, strategists, but I mean, I'm not really that concerned about that. My axes have just come back. We're completely breaking multiple units up here. You lot come here. Keep firing to them. Easy victory. Easy. Huge. Right, I said I said finish them, Mr. Swordsman. Don't go running off down the mountain. We need you up here. Right, go there. Come down here and make sure that uh, Chang Pu is not getting overwhelmed by these infantry captains. Dude's G militia is just running past my archers. Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're fleet. No, it's just their captains, cool. pretty much. Their These strategists, boys, yeah. Which aren't going to put up that much of a fight. Not against what's coming for them. They either charge us or they charge the infantry, which is coming for them anyway. Get in Smart there, move. Boys. Smart move to just run through your infantry. Oh. And I don't know where they're going. <laughs> Guys. Where, where are you going? Why are these two not fleeing yet? I don't understand. They're not even break this, breaking slightly. Here we go. We've we've stopped one of them from moving. Oh, here we go. He's he's wavering. He's finally wavering. Both from our now. Nice. Go. Excellent. Victory. Heroic victory, in fact. Nice. Hopefully we can get a battle in on uh, on your side here before the episode's out. Yeah, I know, I know. Ooh, this episode's all about you, I think. <laughs> the rise of Wu. But I think, I think maybe next turn, I'll have to turn afterwards. Yeah, Defi it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Faction destroyed. Nice. Come wrong, gonna give me eight hundred coin for the labor recruiter. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I wasn't using it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, by the end of this episode, Summer, me and you can actually meet. <laughs> but warms we will. We will encounter each other. Yeah. I can see where you're going for. I see uh, Jiang Du, Guang Ling. I have declared war on Zirong, and I am oh, oh delegate. Easy. Absolutely crushing him. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not a not a G infantry captain. However, will Guan Yu defeat that? <laughs> Dear we Lord. Must be humble in victory. I'm over here having sweat battles. We Your army just runs over everything in its path at this point. <laughs> and I see his other territory as well, with him in it. Ooh. Nice. I'm getting close to you now. I'm getting close. Yeah, I might even send a spy to check on Cao Cao. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep an eye on that guy. I feel like at one point, he's just going to rapidly expand in into you and Shu's territory. So, <laughs> um... Hang Dang. Uh, I, I can recruit him. And he says, that he says <laughs> Sun Si, their leader banished them, leaving them humiliated and outraged. <laughs> Well, maybe if he was, wasn't such a pouty bastard, he wouldn't have been thrown out, right? Yeah. So, um, oh. I'm going to see if, if this guy can spy for me. Uh, what's oh, his name? <laughs> Tio Shang. Yeah, I'm going to send him to Cao Cao. Right, yeah, I'm going to save my money just in case something happens. I'm not upgrading anything yet until I've dealt with Zirong. But, yeah, for now, it's your turn.
I'm untrustworthy because of um, uh, breaking vassalage with Yuan Shu, but it's part of my story. <laughs> That's not fair. That <laughs> <laughs> is not fair. I have to be untrustworthy. This is this is rude. My army's replenishing, so I'm gonna send it back to you. Okay. Oh Jesus! Through respect and action. You have Quenya's pole arm, my lord. I, I can attack it now. Alrighty. So oh, easy. I might as well just delegate it. Fortunately. Let's delegate it. Another steamroll. Just another steamroll. Another steamroll. Oh, they Do actually have Guo Jia in there. Yeah. That's one of Cao Cao's main strategists. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah. Righteousness guys. Might end up um, joining Tao Tao after you take this. Maybe yeah. Unless you capture him, which I, case... I've just captured him as well. Oh dude. <laughs> I couldn't play him. That's actually not a bad idea. <clears throat> He's a legendary strategist. I'm going for it. I'm playing him. Which I think is like gonna be one of the best ones you get up until Zhuge Liang. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, occupy. Though I rise, I've I got a lot you. of money. You see me? See you? Yes. I can't see you. What? <laughs> You're finally in sight. I can't see you. Yeah, it's because like my territory's tucked in at the back of Dunyang there. Ah, right. Okay. You'll probably see my army on the coastline in the next part. All right, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I think been a pleasure having you squiz and you too man uh hopefully next episode we can actually do some damage together oh yeah next episode we will unite the kingdoms of Wu and shu but for now we will see you in the next one guys bye for now not forever